We knew like two years ago, the talent, you know, when you're starting to go to World Cups and getting faster and faster. So I've been speed skating for 12 years, uh, maybe a little bit more, since I started when I was five and I'm 18 now. I was watching the 2010 Olympics. Uh, I was watching Apollo Ono skate around the track, and I really liked the speed he was going. You know, it just looked really exciting, and I didn't really understand the sport, but I really wanted to learn about it. Hannah and Jordan are very competitive. We're kind of a competitive family, and uh, we started skating out on the pond, and they loved it so much, and they wanted to give it a try, so we went to MC Sports in West Bend, bought some hockey skates. I shoveled off a short track rink on the back pond. It was a good way to get them tired because they're five and six. And it's always been speed skating. All the other skaters that were around me, like my age, I think we all took it pretty seriously. We all wanted to beat each other. And I think that's kind of what kept the motivation going. Both kids had so much talent. Um, a couple of Olympic coaches were like, these guys are gonna be good. I mean, I always had like the idea in my head to go far with it since I was like really young. But when I like actually realized it was probably like three years ago, it's a really unique sport and huge family sport. Everybody can do it. Our first year of speed skating, we did it as a family. Everybody did it together, which is what was great about the sport. You could do it whether you're five years old or 70 years old. Even when uh, Jordan uh, and Hannah were skating, you know, they were skating on that same track with, you know, Olympians. I don't know what other sport you can be out there. I don't think you're gonna be out there, you know, playing football with Aaron Rodgers. Usually all the Olympians are here at the rink, and uh, we just got all their autographs and been collecting ever since then. And I don't know how many are on there, but there's probably around 70 to 100 of different Olympians, really good ones too. Had to save a spot on there for me. But <laughs> we figured Jordan was probably gonna do it at 21. We never thought at 17 and breaking all these records that he's breaking, that kind of just blew over our head a little bit because he just broke a track record in Norway, um, you know, which is huge. And he just broke another one in, in the Netherlands, a junior track record. So yeah, his f times are just unbelievable. And you know, you go to these competitions and he's the youngest there by three, four years. I feel like we're all kind of similar in strength and skating technique and that kind of makes it even out. Like age doesn't matter at that point. So it's not something I think about. You'll see like international athletes are usually good in like one or two distances and that's, that's about it. And they kind of perfect those distances. For him, he's good in the 500 meter, he's good in the 1000 meter, good in the 1500 meter. It's funny because we came home from the Netherlands the other night and we were even here in the house for five minutes and right away he wanted Jane's phone. He's like, let me see the videos. And he's already looking at his videos on his technique, what he could change just to shave off another tenth of a second. Definitely looking after every race to see if you can kind of predict how much more you can get out of it. I think people don't realize how hard it is actually. When you're tired, it's harder to skate with with good technique because you really need that feeling on the ice because you know you're only on you're on like tiny blades. So it's kind of like a fine line of like how much work you're doing, like in the weight room and biking, and then how much technique work you're doing. And it's like balancing that out that makes it really hard. So it's probably around like, you know, four or five hours on the ice every day. We knew like two years ago, the talent, you know, when you're starting to go to World Cups and, and Junior World Cups and you're doing pretty well and you just keep like climbing, you know, and getting faster and faster. But last year it kind of really jumped out because he ended up breaking the, you know, the world record, Junior World Record in a 500 meter and then in the 1000 meter and then this year when the season started off, we ended up going to World Cup qualifiers, and then he goes to Norway to a World Cup and wins two gold medals. Ready. So we were in Stavanger, Norway. Uh, it was the 1500 meter. My body was really prepared for it well, and it just, like, it was perfectly planned out for a good race. So definitely going that fast was 
totally unexpected, especially on that rink if the conditions weren't great either. I knew there was a chance, but I'm, I mean, I didn't, I didn't expect that much big of a lead. Through the opener, did the first lap, the second lap I still felt strong and I just attacked it. And then it was, I knew right then it would be good. So. It's exciting, because um, you never know what he's going to pull off. <laughs> I'd like to win more World Cups, uh, maybe break some records. I know right now I'm breaking junior records, but we'll see. Maybe in a couple of years it can be a world record, possibly. Uh, we just have to see what happens.